Hey, anti-hairspray readers. I'm here to talk to you guys about my super growth mix that I've been using. Um, I mentioned it on Twitter, so if you're not following me on Twitter, you should, so you can be on top of all um, the latest anti-hairspray hair updates. I'm at twitter.com backslash anti-hairslave. Um, so basically what my super secret, <laughs> not anymore, right, super secret growth mixture is, is a combination of Jamaican black castor oil and Megatech. Now, if you guys read the blog, you know that I have been trying to use Megatech for, I don't know, since I got the bottle for like months now, and I just can't seem to use it on like an every other day, every three days basis. Like I just cannot make myself sit there and use it. I don't know what it is. Um, I just, I don't have the patience or I don't know what it is. Um, but this, um, I've actually mixed it up already. I'm using a jar, um, it used to have Saban bath oil in it, but I just like it because it's glass. So, I use this jar and I mix probably about equal parts. See how runny it is? That's probably why I like it better. Um, equal parts of Megatech and the um, Jamaican black castor oil. Mix it up good. Um, I like for the Megatech to actually have like a little hint of brown. That's when I know I've gotten the two parts where I want them to be. And basically what I do is I just part my hair and apply it to my scalp. So just for, I usually part from like ear to ear and just keep going from like start at the back and go to the front. But just for the video I'll just show you one quick part how I'm applying it. So, I part my hair, and then I just put my finger in the mix and get a little bit. Then I take, I can't really see where my part is, um, but I take and I just dab along the part, and then I take my fingers and rub it in. And I think because it has um, the castor oil mixed in with the Megatech, it, I can just do like that and it's in. As with the Megatech by itself, I have to really like sit there and like make sure that it's really in my scalp because if not, it's white and it's kind of thick. It's like conditioner um, consistency. It'll just be sitting there. So with the castor oil, I think it makes it like, you know, sink in a little bit better. So hopefully I'll be able to actually stick with it. This After I do my whole head, then I like go ahead and I'll like massage it all in and make sure it's like all massaged in and do like a, a mini scalp massage. And then I'll take the Kokasta Shikaki oil from Hair Vita and um, I'll just put like two or three drops, rub it in, starting at the ends, apply, work it all the way up, all the way up. And then what I do is I just take a regular hair tie, really loose, one, two, and then leave it like up like that. And then I take my pretty wrap and pop it on. One, two and three. And I usually like tie it into a knot. I have to have my ears out or I don't know, I freak out. So I have to, you know, tie it in a knot and that's it. And then I go to bed. And the thing with the um, Kokasta Shikaki oil is that I can only apply it at night because it is kind of heavy. Your hair feels heavy once you put it on. So I go ahead, I put it on and then in the morning, all the heaviness is gone. All I'm left with is soft hair and uh, shine. So I really like the product. Um, but it definitely, like I said, is not for like in the morning, put a little more on. No. Your hair will be weighed down all day. So that's about it. Um, thanks for watching. And stick around for updates. All right. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching again.